In this video, we are trying to understand why do we use convex mirror as the side rear view mirrors of cars. So, for example, I have shown here a side rear view mirror, and this mirror, if you look at it closely, if you move your hand around this, you'll find that it is bulging outwards. It's a, it's a convex mirror. And why do we prefer to use a convex mirror rather than a plane mirror? And we'll try to look at the ray diagram of this and see what is the reason for that. So I've shown here a convex mirror and this on the right hand side is the reflecting surface. Let's say the vehicle is moving in this direction and the driver is on this side and he's looking at objects as a reflection from this convex mirror. So if this is the mirror, let's say this is the center of curvature of the mirror and this dotted line shows the normal at a given point. What I'll do is I'll take up a, a, a ray which is the reflected ray. So let me show here. A reflected ray and let's say this ray is reaching the eye of the driver so this is the eye of the driver and it's moving in this direction and this is let us say a reflected ray from this convex mirror coming from an object now this is the normal so this will be the angle of reflection and if I take an equal angle on this side something like this I'll get the angle of incident and this becomes the incident ray so the object is somewhere over here for example so this is the object and the rear light from the object falls onto this convex mirror gets reflected and reaches the observer and thus the driver is able to see an object which is behind him so this is what happens when we have a convex mirror let me draw a line over here just for the reference so with a convex mirror we are able to see an object which is uh, at this distance, which is the distance. Now, what happens if we have a plane mirror? Now, if you have a plane mirror, I'll show a plane mirror over here. So, the plane mirror would be something like this. This is the plane mirror placed at the same location. And this is the point at which we are seeing the incident ray. And let's say we have the same reflected ray from the plane mirror. So this is the same reflected ray from the plane mirror. Now, in case of a plane mirror, the normal is going to change because the normal is perpendicular to the mirror. So the normal will be something like this. This is something. And therefore, if you can see over here, the reflected angle of reflection is decreased over here. This is the angle of reflection, which is smaller. This is the angle of reflection. Whereas in this case, it was this. So the angle of reflection decreases and therefore the angle of incidence will also decrease and therefore the, the incident ray will come out something like this something like that so this becomes the angle of incidence now which is equal to angle of reflection and this is the incident ray. and this black ray of course remains the reflected ray and as you can see over here for the same reflected ray to the eye this ray comes from an object over here and therefore the side range for the driver is only this much and therefore there is a very clear cut difference in the sideways range in case of a convex mirror you are able to see an object which is as wide as this as this object over here whereas in case of a plane mirror you are able to see an object which is far more closer to you and since this range increases in case of a convex mirror we prefer to use a convex mirror as a reflecting rear view mirror a similar thing would happen on that's on the right hand side also if there are if there are, if there are rays if there are objects placed over here this ray would fall out of this mirror and reach the eye and in case of a plane mirror it would be able to see only objects up to a certain range like this over here whereas in, if i have a convex mirror we will be able to go far beyond that and see the object as a reflection in this mirror thank you